Well, I was on my business trip in Vegas this week and now I'm back in San Diego, stopped by a beach and look at that, we have cut. And from what Tom said, every beach he's been to has a cut. So uh, this is up in North County and I'm excited to get out. So I'll be out at night, but I figured in the daytime I'd take a look and show you guys what I'm seeing. And this is great. So uh, hopefully we find some great stuff. We'll see you on the first dig. All right, we got a cut. That's eh, about a foot in this area. There's uh, some other areas that are deeper. Got my first target barely. It was reading a 12, now it's not giving me a number, but I'm barely, barely hearing a whisper. So let's take a look. Weather's getting colder, so uh, I'm gonna be rocking the waders into the winter month or yeah the winter months because it uh it drops below 60 at night sometimes into the 40s and uh, i still like to get out in the surf so waders should be pretty good this thing's not getting any stronger the deeper i dig it's because rejecting half the time that's all right let's take a look That is a pull tab from hell. That's not a good start. Got an 11, 12. Not even gonna guess what it is. Lots of black sand, so stuff could read strange. But it should be a nickel. 12, 13 now. Yep, got a nickel. Mid 20s, dime type of tone. It's in there. And we got a dime. Piece of aluminum. 2021 rock solid penny tone. Yep, got a penny. Crusty bottle cap. Huh. Mystery object. Do I see shine? I saw something right under this mound. Oh yeah, I saw a shine of a damn bottle cap. Reading like a penny. You never know. Bottle cap. Old beaver tail pull tab. All right, we just uh, came to a different beach. I say we, it's Ron has joined me tonight. And uh, first beach wasn't quite doing it, so. Trying another one. Got a quarter right when I step onto the sand here. Sounds kind of crappy, but I'm curious. I think it's in the scoop. Let's check. Yeah, it's rejecting most of the time. Yeah, it's a hoop earring. All right. Finally got some jewelry. Eleven. Sounds pretty deep. 
I think they're showing six to eight inches on the scale, which obviously it wasn't. I see round, and we got a ring. At least it's not a wave ring. All right, we'll take a look later. Got a uh, penny type of a tone next to this kelp pile. It's going a little crazy now, isn't it? some kind of a camera. I think. Huh. I don't know, we'll take a look later. Looks to me like some kind of a camera. There's some wires coming out, it looks like. Fishing weight. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Out here in the surf. Still there. Still there. All right, it's in the scoop. A nickel. Twenty-six. Kind of like a dime, something silver. Copper penny. Thirteen nickel tone. And it's a nickel. Nice quarter tone or silver tone. My luck tonight. Quarter, probably. Quarter. All right, let's do a tailgate wrap up. Uh, literally a tailgate today. I'm on my truck. Um, typical trash. I kind of got excited because I was finding some fishing weights and typically where there's fishing weights there's some heavier targets and uh, wasn't the case. I was out there for four hours and with the cuts that are showing up I had uh, high expectations and I'm not gonna lie I was a bit disappointed. Uh, that's all the coins I had and this turns out it's a drone camera. Um, obviously useless at this point but Never found a drone camera. Uh, this ring doesn't have any markings on it, and I haven't tested it or anything, but it's uh, it looks awfully silver. 
but it is tiny, so not too excited about that. Uh, another Pura Vita little pin that goes on a bracelet. Uh, junk earring. And that's about it. Four hours, and that is it. So, as sanded in as we've been, I've been mentioning the sand's six, seven, eight feet higher than it typically is. That cut is barely scratching the surface of, of the mound of sand that's pushed in. So I'm hoping uh, over the next few weeks we'll, we'll have more of a cut which will expose some better targets. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video.